this video, I'm going to show you four different ways kung paano mag-transfer money from the BPI online app. By the way, if you don't have a BPI account yet, pwede niyong i-check tong video na to on how to open a BPI savings account. And for other BPI-related videos such as how to invest through the mobile app, pwede niyo din i-check tong video na to. Log in to your BPI app and then click this button up here. Now go to transfers, tapos transfer money. So select natin yung account kung saan manggagaling yung pera natin. Alright, and then input the amount. So first option is to transfer to own account. Okay, tick natin yan and then select dun sa other accounts natin kung saan natin gusto i-send. Tapos, you can add a note or any text. Optional lang siya. And then, click next. Confirm the details, yung account number, yung amount, and everything. Confirm. Yan. So, makikita nyo na successful yung transfer natin. And in real time din siya, ma-verify natin yan when we go back. And then, open natin yung account kung saan tayo nag-transfer. Makikita nyo may na-receive tayong 1K. And then, dun sa isang account natin, makikita nyo nabawasan ng 1K. And naka-receive din tayo ng email confirmation. Next naman is to transfer to a third party, meaning another BPI account that is not yours. Again, select natin yung account natin, input the amount, and then tick third party. Okay, so there are two options, either scan QR or import QR from photos. In order to know how to generate a QR code para masend mo sa mga mag, um, papadala sa'yo ng pera, you can check this video. So either take a photo or import mo from your list of photos. Yung sample dito is my own account, kaya ano, pang sample lang siya. Another option is to select from the list of enrolled accounts. Tick nyo tong icon na to. If you don't have any list of billers, ito yung lalabas na notification. So, you have no enrolled destination accounts for funds transfer, you may enter 10-digit account number instead. Pagka ganun, input mo yung account number on the field. Ang disadvantage lang nito is that if hindi QR code ang gamit mo, merong transaction fee na 10 pesos. In order to know how to enroll a third-party account, pwede nyo i-check yung next video ko para makatipid tayo sa transaction fee. Kasi kapag ka-enrolled account, wala tayong transfer fee. If meron tayong enrolled account, dito siya lalabas. And then, click lang natin yan. Then, click next. Okay, so double-check the details again. And then, click confirm. Ayan, so successful na yung money transfer natin. Makaka-receive din tayo ng email. The third option is transfer to other bank. So again, select our account. Type in the amount. And then tick another bank. So either upload a QR from the bank or mag-select tayo ng bank. So it's either Instapay or through PesoNet. The main difference is kapag sa Instapay, up to 50,000 pesos lang yung masasend natin. And sa peso net naman, more than 50,000 pesos. Si Instapay is available 24-7 during weekdays and weekends. For peso net naman, hindi considered ang weekends and holidays. And any transactions done after 4 p.m. is sa next day na process. So, if nag-send ka within a holiday, consider next banking day ma-process yung transaction mo. Ganon din if after 4 p.m. or during a weekend mo select. So, ang bank na isa select natin is Union Bank under Instapay tayo. Okay. And then, transfer using account number. Input natin yung account number. And then, the account name. So, you could add notes again. Optional yan. 
And then, uh, mayroon siyang transaction fee. But for me, preferred client kasi ako ng BPI. So, wala akong transaction fee. Ang transaction fee, ang alam ko, is around 25 pesos. And may depend kung gaano kalahay yung amount na itatransact mo. So, click confirm. And... Ayan, successful yung transfer natin. Okay, so agad-agad din naman siya mag-reflect on your account. The fourth option naman is to transfer to partners. Okay, so BPI to cash. So pag-open mo ng app, scroll down ka lang and then click BPI to cash. And then click again BPI to cash. Tapos, ayan, ito yung mga partners na pwede nating sendan ng cash. May detailed step-by-step -step process at the partner na i-click mo. So, for True Money, LBC, M. Luillier, Cebuana, RD Pawn Shop, and Palawan Express. Okay. So, once you select the partner, input mo lang yung amount. By the way, for Palawan Express, ang maximum is only 5,000 pesos. And then for the others naman, ang maximum is 10,000 pesos. Okay, and then input mo yung recipient and then yung mobile number. You need to confirm all the details by ticking this box and then click next. Wala kasi tayong pagsasendan ngayon, so hanggang dito lang yung pwede kong pakita. As you've seen earlier, meron naman silang step-by-step -step process kung paano isend ito 